So there's so much happening right now in our nation. So much pain. So much hurt. So much despair. Disease. Half our country is on fire. And these meditations on Mondays are to bring peace and love and harmony. So I ask you to all to sit back. Take a deep breath. And we're going to bring in and ask for the divine forces of good and light and love and peace. And it matters not what orientation you are or what you spiritually believe. Just bring in those forces or light or your heart or your soul that will bring us peace and harmony and above all good things. So listen quietly to the gong and bring your energy in. We're going to ask those forces in light and bring those in in the visualization into the top of our crown. And bring the light behind your eyes into your throat and into your heart. And allow this divine energy to just flow through your body as you take a minute and drop into your heart. And think about what's important to you and your family right now. To your nation, to your state, As you listen to the gong, feel the vibration. Feel that vibration as it goes through your body and relaxes you. Forget about the stress. Let that go. And allow that light to come through the top, behind your eyes, into your heart, into your hips and out through your feet and we want to send stress out your left leg and out your right leg into the planet and breathe 
relax. Breathe slowly in and slowly out. Slowly in and slowly out. Allow yourself to connect to the planet. Touch Mother Earth and feel the energy from the planet come up your left foot and up your right foot and come to the base of your spine and bring that energy and hold it there and allow yourself to ground connect with our planet. And as you're connecting with the planet, feel all the roots of the closest tree to you. And bring in that energy from that left foot to the right foot and all the way up your body and feel that grounding. And sometimes our best wisdom comes from the planet itself. And feel these trees as they connect to each other. For roots go underneath us. The trees connect one root to another root, another root to another root, until they are across the planet connecting as one world tree. And we're going to connect all the way to California, Oregon, Washington. And we're going to send those trees this light of energy. For some of them are in trauma. we're going to send cooling energy to the earth in those states. Cooling energy, the light blue energy, the color of our sea, a blue wave of cooling water we're going to send them to the earth, up through the trees, to allow the cooling off of the planet. And then we're going to visualize ourselves in the blue ocean, an ocean wave of blueness, of calmness of love, of healing, of wisdom, prosperity, compassion. We're going to allow the blue wave of the ocean water to wash over going to send this wave of cooling energy to California, Portland, Washington, and bring a cooling sea to the other states, Montana, Nevada, Arizona, Oklahoma, Texas. We're going to send the wave of calmness, coolness, peace. Wisconsin, Illinois, 
all the way down Ohio, Tennessee, the Midwest, Texas, in the South, Louisiana, Alabama, Nevada, Georgia, North Carolina, up through the Dakotas, upstate New York, the East Coast from Maine all the way down, Connecticut, Vermont, Massachusetts, Boston, New York City, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, down to Washington, D.C. We're going to send our leaders, our governors of all the states, pink energy of healing, love, compassion, peace. We're going to send our leaders wisdom, calmness, coolness. Going to send our leaders compassion that they think of other people and not themselves, that they give what's best for the nation, what's best for all the people, they think of inclusive, what all people need, and they think with love. That loving people, helping people, bringing joy and happiness, caring for our children. That they bring medical care to those that need it whether it's from a devastating disease and virus that is happening or from lack of care. That they care for the elderly, for those audiences that are not given attention, natives, loving people who are trying they care for the soul, that the message is love and peace, that we want, what do we want? We do not want a nation fighting at war that lacks prosperity, that lacks the correct medical attention. We do not want a nation that is not prosperous. We do not want a nation that is just for a few. We want to include all people, all love, all peace, all wisdom. We ask above all for all our leaders wisdom that they may see and do right by the people that they may see all the people and all the needs and that they act fairly, fair to all of those, those which are in need, that are hungry. We ask that our ladies leave no child go hungry or without the medicine that they require. We ask that our leaders bring food to the people, clean water to the people, clean air to the people, clean houses, house care, health, love, and peace and harmony. We ask that they see with their souls, that they hear our cries for what each family wants, that they bring love to all. 
that they hear the pains of the past, the fears of the future, and they do what they can to heal the pain of the past and to heal and bring us the best future. We ask that they join us as one nation, one nation under God, one nation under a banner of peace where we can take hand to hand and hold hands together of one nation. We ask that our governors feel that they are not a nation to themselves, that we are one, and that they share. They share love, they share resources, and that it is not exclusive it is not exclusive to those that are rich. It is not exclusive that those that are healthy. It is not exclusive to those that are young. It is not exclusive that young, those of a one racial profile. It is not exclusive to one type of person. It is not exclusive to males. It is not exclusive. It includes all all the people of our nation, of all colors and race and beliefs and religions and sexuality and gender and all. That we leave no one person behind, for we are one nation. That we bring together a flag again that stands for the values that we are the values of wisdom and understanding, of love, of gratitude, of generosity, of fairness, of balance. We ask that all people receive the opportunity for a fair wage, that all people receive the opportunity for good health we ask that all people receive the opportunity to pray as they wish. We ask that all people receive the opportunity for clean water, fresh air, good housing, great schooling for our children. These are the rights and the beliefs and the values of this country and this nation. We ask that our leaders embrace our values and that our voices be heard from the smallest places in our nation to our government portals. We ask that our portals receive the energy of divine wisdom, that this light and wisdom pour into our leaders and that they be open to hearing the hearts and souls of the people. We ask that the hearts and souls of the people be at peace. Ask what your family wants. It is peace. It is harmony. It is prosperity. It is love. It is compassion. It is the joy of friendship and the joy of communion. It is the harmony that we have always experienced. It is knowing that we as one nation are better together than we are apart. It is knowing that if there is disaster anywhere in our country, no matter how that state votes, that they will receive the aid of this nation, not exclusive to those that vote, not exclusive to those that are of a certain belief or gender or color or race or anything. 
we will help and we will give to all states. We believe that we can bring ourselves back to one nation and we believe that we can find leaders to do that. We believe that we can find leaders that can drop down into their hearts and know what we need as a nation. We believe that we can go forward as one nation, one flag, one values. We pray for the leaders in charge that may, they may see us again as one nation. We pray for the leaders that they may have compassion and peace and harmony and love and divine light in their hearts. We pray that they do not see any enemies within our nation, that the enemies, if any, would be outside political opponents who are trying to influence us. We pray for the people of all people that they may hear truth. Before anything, they may hear truth. For by hearing truth, they may know truth and respond with truth. We may speak truth and hear truth. Now meditate right now, visualize right now on the calling of our nation. It is calm color of our seas, from sea to shining sea, and see our oceans, the color of our ocean, bringing peace to people, bringing love to people, bringing wisdom to people, bringing harmony. So in this meditation, we believe that our nation needs to balance its chakras. And so we will start hearing the earth with the red energy. And I'd like you to visualize with me, starting up in Maine and going all the way down to Florida, the red energy of safety, security, comfort, hearing what our planet has to say. And take this red wave now all the way through as it goes across our nation, all the way to California, Alaska, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and the outlining countries that are part of our nation, Guam. The message on the red is grounding hear our earth, understand the safety and security of its people that is needed, and understand what kind of safety and security we need. We need a virus eradicated at the red energy. We need our planet's environment changed for the better and for the United States to do its part for us. Hear our planet. Hear what we need and undo the anti-environmental things that have hurt our nation. And now we're going to bring in the orange energy again starting in Maine bringing it all the way down to Florida in an orange wave going across our nation all the way to California, 
Alaska, Hawaii, and the outlying islands. This is about relationship. We balance relationships within for all states, all peoples, and we shake hands in those relationships. We understand we will always have differences of opinion, but as our founding fathers were able to do, we come together in one relationship, the relationship of humankind where we love and care about the people. We bring together in that chakra, the orange chakra across the nation with the wish and the hopes that we mend and heal relationships all across our nation. And that we extend a hand out to those relationships. That we should be in one and care for every human being in our nation with love and compassion. And now we bring in the yellow chakra, the color of our sun, the color of our solar system, and we bring that yellow color from Maine all the way down to Florida, across our nation with the brightness of the yellow, all the way to California, Alaska, Hawaii, and the outlying islands. And we bring that yellow color, which is about balancing our ego and power that power being balanced, we have set up these United States to be in balance. And we expect our leaders to maintain that balance, the balance between our judicial, our legislation, our constitution, our Congress. We bring the wisdom. Yellow is the color of wisdom and we bring wisdom across our nation, to our leaders, to all our governors, to all our mayors, to all our peoples, that we may be in wisdom and make decisions, not for ourselves, but for our children and our grandchildren, for the future generations, for seven generations going, that this generation be in balance in the green energy, the color of love in the first harmonic, the second harmonic being pink. And we bring that green energy, the color of our planet, from Maine all the way down to Florida, across these fair states, all the way across to California, Portland, made the grass grow again. And we need that green energy of love to put out the fires, calm our nation, all the way to Hawaii and Alaska and the outlying islands, see our nation covered in green. And the green energy, energy of love, and we bring to all the peoples of our nation love. We bring love to those that are in pain from the fires. We bring love to the almost 200,000 people who have lost lives to COVID and their families, totaling millions of people. Those who are sick for months, those who are recovered, those who understand that we need to move on from this and heal as a nation one, we bring healing to all the peoples of this nation, whether you have been in a hurricane, a twister, a flood, a fire, a virus, an illness, misinformation, following the wrong person, listening to Facebook and misinformation, we bring love, 
hear with your heart. Hear with your heart the truth. Hear with your heart love. Spread love. One love. One nation holding hands. Peace, harmony. Feel. Feel what the person six feet away from you needs. And then communicate. Bring them the energy. Energy is not one foot away. What happens with a hug? Energy happens six feet away, ten feet away, a thousand feet away. Bring this energy love first to all your loved ones. See all your loved ones and bring them the energy, green energy of love and light. See all your friends and bring them the energy of love and light. See all your communities and bring them the energy of Bring those who are suffering from a virus in hospitals or at home, bring them healing of love. Bring all those who are suffering from loss of homes and misplacement and trauma, bring them love and light. Bring all of those who do not have enough food, love and light. Bring all those who do not have a home right now, love and light. And bring into your own heart love and light and what you can do to help others, to heal others, to let them know that we are one and we are one supportive nation. And we will be there forever and ever. Let go of the green energy now. And we're going to bring in a royal blue color. The royal blue is the color of your throat. And we're going to send that energy from Maine all the way down to Florida. We're going to send it across our nation, California, all the way up to Washington to Alaska, to Hawaii, and the outlying islands. And this is the color of communications. And we ask that all in this nation communicate truth. Stop the false information. Stop our news agencies' falsity. Stop our social media falsity and the ton of it. Stop the conspiracy false identity. Stop hammering those in the line light. Stop the lies. And we ask that everyone speak truth. And when you filter what you say through your heart into your throat, truth will be heard. And we ask all the peoples of this nation to hear and speak truth. If it is not truth, do not say it. Drop into your heart. Drop into your connection with whatever divine presence you connect with. And hear the truth. Feel the truth. Hear the wisdom. And we ask you to be wise right now. For what you do and your connection to others and what you say to others, whether that is on social media or other media, is about the future of our generations to come. And so we ask you to speak truth, hear truth, and do not repeat anything that is not true. And we ask you to do this in the name of love in the, the name of the divine presence and the divine light that we hear and speak wisdom. We go forward now to our third eye. And this is where we have a direct connection to the divine light. The color is indigo blue. And in this connection, we again now ask 
not for our own wisdom, but that we receive guidance, guidance from whatever you believe in, whatever guidance you pray to, you connect with, you hear, whether that is anywhere from Mother Earth to the divine presence of God, whatever your definition, whatever the religion is, that you see and hear and listen with your third eye open to wisdom. For wisdom is our only path forward. If we are going forward from ego, we will lose. It may look like a win, but it will be a loss. For the ego cannot win. For if it does, then we are merely body and mind and nothing more. But when we are a divine presence and our divine presence comes through, then the wisdom of the divine presence and the light of the universe and the divine comes through us, through our hearts, through our minds, and our souls. So we ask you now as one nation, where is our soul? Where is your soul? Where is your soul connection? If you are thinking with your mind, that is not the direction that we have been headed. If you are thinking with your soul and what all beings need, then you are a loving presence. And so now we ask you to be a loving presence in this nation. And if everyone is a loving presence in this nation, then in that loving presence, we will each be one connected and we will bring forth a nation that is one under God. And so as we go up to the divine chakra, the seventh chakra, we spread the violet light and the violet flame of transformation, of peace, of harmony, of love, from Maine down to Florida, to the outlying islands, across our nation, through California, Portland, Washington, Alaska, Hawaii, and all the outlying islands. We spread the violet light of transformation, of love, of compassion, of prosperity, of open heart. We hear wisdom. We filter that through our heart with love, compassion, and truth. Sit in the violet light, in that violet light of transformation, and just listen to the gong as we wind down this meditation. Thank you for being here with us and for being here tonight. We'll repeat next Monday in a different meditation as we try to move our nation to a more peaceful, harmonious, prosperous, beautiful, joyful, in harmony, loving, 
compassionate nation. I thank you. This production has been produced by Touch Mother Earth Nonprofit, which can be reached at touchmotherearth.org in conjunction with New Thought Kabbalah, which can be reached at newthoughtkabbalah.com. I'm Cheryl Glover, my husband Dave Miller on the gongs. We thank you. Have peace and harmony. Good evening.